Hey guys, it's Renee. So this Halloween decor is kind of long. I'm going to be using some Casper images. I printed two of them. I'm going to link them below, but I ended up going for this one. The tail though looked kind of weird to me. So I'm just going to be drawing how I want it to be. Then I'm going to be cutting the whole thing. First, I used regular scissors for this. And then I ended up using detail scissors for like the details. I think this ones are for like trimming the eyebrows or fake eyelashes. One of those that are like pointier and sharper on the edges. Now I'm going to be using the other image that I didn't use to make some details for the tombstone. Folding this in half and then just working on those details like this. First I did the one that I didn't like and this is like my second try and this one I liked the most and then just cutting this. So we fold it so that when we open it, it looks even in like this. And I would just suggest to make like the round top wider than the rest. I'm going to be using this styrofoam sheet. This one is pretty old. I'm pretty much recycling here. This one is like two of them like stuck together with a bit of glue in there. And this way there is a line in there. But I'm going to be tracing first with my sharpie like the top of the tombstone on the edges with my ruler marking a straight line and then just cutting the X and to get it I'm gonna be using this exacto knife going up and down with my exacto knife and I would highly suggest you to work on like the edge of a table it's gonna be easier for you then I printed this happy Halloween and I have two here just because I couldn't decide on which font size I want to go for the font that I'm using here by the way is impact I got it from thefont.com to make this easier for you the image is gonna be linked below I'm gonna be cutting them first with my like regular scissors and then going with my detail scissors just because they have like pointier edges and just be careful because this kinds of scissors tend to be really pointy kind of like a weapon so much so that I made them a holder or a case the DIY of this one is going to be in the cards I'm going to be arranging the whole thing and then I'm going to be gluing this first I started with my Casper and then the happy I glued them with a bit of an angle following pretty much like the curve of the top and then my Halloween I guided myself with a ruler so I'm going to be painting with my wet acrylic paint and my brush the letters and my Casper so I gave them like three coats and then I took a ruler first to just get rid of like so much excess in there making an indentation in there and this is just easy to make with this material you just have to like push it like a mark in there then I went with a small brush like a detail brush and then I made my indentation so big that I could go with a paper straw it pretty much depends on like how deep you want your indentation to be I'm going to be using some cool blue and some bright red by apple barrel acrylic paint and my detail brush first painting the eyes and then the little tongue with the red then I'm going to be using my sharpie the like fine point of this adding the details inside the casper the arms hands and all the face and details and I went there with a bit of like a tough hand just because I wanted everything to be darker than the fine point but I didn't want to go and use like the thicker side because I think that end is going to be like way too thick for this then I'm going to be using my black acrylic paint and this brush that I do have the DIY showing you how to make this around all my Casper and I'm using this one because you need something fine for the details like on the hands and everything else and this is where you want to be patient and I took my time to just paint the whole thing just because I didn't want to paint over the white basically and just ruin the whole thing this is honestly the part that took me the longest but I think it's worth it my letters I'm going to be first going uh, Around with my fine brush and then on like the details inside I'm gonna go with my like other brush that I did just because you need something really really almost like a pencil fine and feel free to use the fine point of your sharpie I just used this method then I'm gonna be painting around my everything like my Casper and my letters with my fine brush but at the end I went with my black brush and I just covered the whole thing don't forget the edges as well and I also painted the back as well then I took some screws like the most rustic look that I could find on like my tool little bag with my screwdriver I just place them all around it I think this adds like a vintage feel to this and I really like it I made a few mistakes and I just painted over them then I went with my like fine brush the back of it is pretty much like a dotting tool with some white acrylic paint and I just decided to add something else to it because I thought it was missing something and because to me the movie Casper I love it it's one of my favorite movies but I find it really I don't know magical in a way nostalgic even though the story itself is not magical at all such like that but 
that, I don't know, to me, like Casper is like a really cute ghost. And I just want to add that here. Halloween is not supposed to be magical, I guess. But this is Casper. But yeah, guys, this is the Halloween decor that I want to share with you. This year, for some reason, I wasn't feeling like the creepy, spooky gory vibe i wanted a break from all that but i think it looks good i love it hopefully you like it too if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up i actually made those like potion bottles last year so check those out and feel free to check out more halloween stuff that i've done thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye